What is happening, y'all? Welcome on back. I, after listening to all that complicated stuff... Poor Don't Law. I think we're mostly done with him. Now all we have to do is rest up and wait. Once the Fall Nights is good to go again, we'll be taking off for Renault. Taking some time to completely... Oh, wow. Um, alright, yeah. Let's rest. This is it. Here we go. You still thinking about what the scientists told us? About where Renans really come from? I am, but not for myself. You're worried about the future of the Renan people. The fact that our people have been the same this whole time will only give the Danans further reason to resent us. But you still intend to confront this truth head on, don't you? Well... I did declare that I would live my life for the living, and not the dead. Even as I dream of retirement, I shall remain dedicated to the cause. I'm sure you'll do great. Now that I think about it, I don't believe I've ever heard you criticize or reproach us Renans even once. I'm no saint. I have skeletons in my closet too. There was definitely a time when I hated Renans for who they were. I hated them just for being Renan. But you changed that, Dohalim. You gave me an opportunity to see them in a different light. Thanks to your reforms, we were able to stand next to Renans not as slaves, but as equals for the first time in our lives. Of course, I'm sure there were some Renans who still hated us on the inside. But we knew that not all of you were like that. There were those of you who were good. And that was a start. When it comes down to it, Renans are just people. They can be good or bad, just like Danans. That is, in essence, the heart of your approach, isn't it? That we're all people. Yeah, it is. When you can pull someone aside and talk to them one-on-one, -on -one, then you have the chance to come to an understanding. But as soon as you stereotype, that chance goes away, and you stop thinking of them as people that you can relate to. I understand what you're saying. But we're talking about massive numbers of Renans and Danans alike. Realistically speaking, surely they won't all be able to get along. Even if we end up butting heads with one person, maybe we'll find better luck among their friends. If we can build a society that works like that, that'll be something worth nurturing and protecting. So you wish for people to form real bonds and do away with the hierarchy outright? To deal with one another as humans, and nothing more. That's the ideal future you hope to see when this is all over? Yes, I do. I think it would make for a fine tribute to my brother's legacy. Though, that said, I would be doing it for the people of the future first and foremost. Do you still plan to return to Lenigus when this is over? Indeed I do. I don't know whether I'll be able to reside in Lenigus proper, however. My first order of business may be to find somewhere to live. You'll always have a home in Menencia, you know. <laughs> As I shall ever keep in mind. Well, if you ever need a helping hand, don't hesitate to come get me. I'll always be there for you, Doe. Did you just... <laughs> Never mind. You're picking up his nicknames. Thank you, Kisara. I appreciate your patience as I work all this out. Don't even mention it. And really, when you think about it, now that we know the two of us aren't so different after all, don't you think smash. that brings down a barrier that used to be between us? <sighs> you know, I hadn't actually thought of it that way before. She's trying to get that <laughs> doe dick. But I do like the sound of it. Yeah, I think I do too. Like everyone's final thoughts before we just go balls deep into battle. Hey, why'd you call me here? 
Was there something you wanted to talk about? Oh god, please tell me he's not confessing. Well, if everything we've heard about the Great Spirit is true, then we're getting close to our final battle. So I wanted to apologize while I can. Apologize? For what? I was being real stupid before, about whether Dana's will had been controlling us and all that. I get why you're angry now. Anybody would be if something they trusted was being questioned. So, I'm sorry, Runwell. Really. I should have kept my mouth shut. No, Law. Honestly, I think you might have been onto something. Of course you were worried. Who wouldn't be if they found out there might be some invisible force pulling our strings this whole time? But you... you really trust Dana's will, don't you? Is it because you can sense it a lot more than the rest of us? Because you can understand it? Yeah, I think that might be part of it. But I think... I also want to believe it's good. Believe? Remember how I used to really resent coming from a family of mages? Yeah, of course. Because you were always on the run and had to live in hiding. When we rescued Zephyr and... and I finally decided to come along with you all, something changed inside me. It was the first time I felt like my powers had any meaning. Even if that meaning was only helping you guys fight. Then, when I felt Dana's will, I was overwhelmed by how vast and warm it was. It made me want to believe my powers were made to connect with it. It made me believe I had a bigger purpose. So that's why you hope it doesn't turn out to be bad. You almost need it to be kind. Yeah. Well, all right. Then I promise I'll lay off bad-mouthing it. You will? There's no way for me to know for sure one way or the other, right? But you trust it, Rinwell, and that's enough for me. So I'll trust it because you do. Uh... Remember what I said about neither planet's great spirit reaching us here? Hmm? Yeah? That's not quite true. I can feel just a little bit of Rena's inside you and everyone else. Uh, you... what? I sensed it when we first got here. It's a really small amount, so it doesn't feel like it has a will of its own. But I think that's how Dana's energy probably is too. So you're saying there's a little bit of Dana's will inside each of us? I mean, they In said that way, Dana's astral sphere is, like, spread will? between everyone, so that makes sense. What? Well, like you said, unless Dana's energy comes together, it has no will. So if we all have a little bit of Dana's astral energy inside us... Yeah... maybe... Heifer 35 might know the answer. But, you know what? I don't need to ask it. My will is my own. I fight for who I want to fight for. That's who I am now. Who I've become. So thanks, Rinwell, for sharing that with me. Ah. To be honest, the only reason I was suspicious of Dana's will... Well, I mean, it mostly was... I feel like you and I had grown apart lately, and I was worried it was because... Huh? Uh, never mind. <clears throat> Nothing. Just forget about it. Huh? Uh, no. What were you saying? Saying? I don't remember Come saying on. anything. Now you won't tell me what you were no, thinking? No, that's not what I'm saying. Then spit it out already. Um... Uh... Mm -hmm. I didn't think so, but this is actually, like, this is turning into a... This is a confession moment. Basically. Are you sure you don't want to get some rest? I can't. I've got too much on my mind. 
Especially knowing how close our last battle is. <laughs> how are you doing, Xion? Same as you, still trying to absorb everything. Remember when it was so simple, we were only fighting all the lords on Dana? <laughs> all of that feels like a lifetime ago, doesn't it? Ages and ages ago. Everything that's happened since we first met. So many fights, so much chaos, so many wonderful people. If I hadn't run into you that day, well, I wouldn't have met all of you. I never would have held the blazing sword or looked for something more. I wouldn't have my memories back. I'd still be a faceless slave, and like as not long dead. Hey, Alfin. I want you to promise me something. Yeah? If we can't find the Renis Alma, there's something I want you to do. Like Hevrek 35 said, the only way we can end the Great Spirit for good is to go after both the main body in Rena and the thorns in me. I need you to promise me, Alfin, that if for some reason we can't get the Renis Alma back, you'll use the Blazing Sword to destroy the Great Spirit, and me along with it. Huh? It's true the Blazing Sword may not have the strength of the Renis Alma. But it's taken us this far. It's slain lords and beasts. At the very least, it has to be worth a try. You can't be serious. Have you forgotten everything Listen, that we- the Great Spirit isn't just our problem. It's a threat to our entire world. Renans and Danans alike. We don't know what's going to happen when we face it, but we need to be prepared for anything. We can't second-guess ourselves when the time comes. I promise you, I'm not planning on going anywhere. I'm prepared to fight with absolutely everything I've got. But if it comes down to it, I need you to be prepared too. You should know that I'm not going to give up on you, Xion. I'm going to fight this until the very end. I hope you can forgive me for that. Alfin. Okay, I understand. And I'll forgive you. Thank you, Xion. So it's a promise then? Yeah, it's a promise. I remember how I felt the first time you touched me. Hmm? My thorns made any contact a mistake no one would ever make twice. After they'd seen what could happen, fear would always linger behind their eyes. In my entire life, I never had someone willingly reach out to me. But when you reached out to me and gently took my hand, you didn't react at all. It was so easy for you. I don't have words for the shock I felt in that moment. That's because I couldn't feel pain back then. Even once you could, though, you still chose to keep reaching out to me. And when you did, I felt this warmth that I had never known before. But still, I hate having to see you suffer through it every time you do. You won't have to worry about that for much longer. You think so? I do, because I... Shiona, I, uh... No. You can tell me once my thorns are gone. <laughs> okay? <laughs> yeah, they're totally gonna smash.
Yeah. Okay. Everybody get enough rest? We ready for this? Yeah, we should probably get moving. Agreed. Can't stand around waiting all day. Time to go fight Our the planet. Our task is relatively straightforward. We need only to send down to Rena, defeat the Great Spirit, and restore stability yeah. <laughs> to both worlds. Su super straightforward. We're fighting so, for a new future so easy. for both Dana and Rena. Right. We've come this far. We will save our worlds. That's a promise. Then let's go, everybody. We've got one last wall to tear down. Repairs on your starship are complete. Everything is in working order. Is that you, Hevrek 35? You can see us from where you are? I can. I can see anywhere within the bounds of Dake Faisal. Sounds like someone's a peeping Tom. Maybe we should give Hevrek 35 a break. It has been stuck in this tiny facility for a very, very long time. I have unlocked all functions on your starship. You can now make use of its warp drive. Warp drive? Wait, you mean like what the Red Women used on us? What brought us here? It's possible that the Red Women may have found a way to activate it on the starship. They are Helganquil, after all. Using the warp drive, you should be able to breach Rena's atmosphere without being detected. Wait, should? You'll need to be careful. Due to the force field surrounding Rena, the ship will be unable to go any further than the surface of the planet. So, once we reach the shell, it appears we'll have to infiltrate the core by foot. Understood. We gotta go all the way down just... walking? Will all the Helganquil go back to normal once we defeat the Great Spirit? I have a strange feeling we're going to have to fight them before this is all over. The extinction of my people is inevitable at this stage. As such, it would be illogical to risk the success of the mission in a vain attempt to save my kind. Hmm. We understand. Can't that thing lighten up a bit? Everything it says seems to be about what's illogical. Well, come on, Doe. Hold up. Did you just... You heard the lady. Get going. I have one last question. What? As Sovereign, your identification number indicates that you are well past your predicted life expectancy. Similarly, the Maiden lacks any identification number, as her function should have been rendered unnecessary. Despite this, the two of you continue to exist. Why? Exist because others have entrusted this to us. Over the years, many people have come together and sworn to see this through to the end. You mean it is because of multiple chance interactions? The likelihood of such events is statistically improbable. Why have you two continued to persist under these conditions? It's hard to explain. To be honest, I don't think it's something an observer could understand. All right, time to get back on the Fall Knights. This a uh, oh. Happy bottles. It would appear that our Helganquil host really has fulfilled its end of the bargain. You know what that means. Time to go to Rena. I guess this means we should give that warp drive a spin.
figured we were gonna just like warp in. This looks like we're just flying on up. It's a very conveniently located landing pad right there. Also very bold of them to just assume that there's atmosphere on this thing. There's nothing here. This weird ocean we're surrounded by just stretches out everywhere. Is this really where the Helganquil come from? I don't sense even a trace of astral energy. This world is... dead. Then this must be the hollowing. You mean to tell me this whole world? The entire ocean is... that stuff? And it's covering everything. The entire planet. This is what the Great Spirit does. After it depleted this planet of every last speck of astral energy, it went after Dana. So arresting, this world of doom. Back in its day, Rena was probably just as vibrant as Dana is. But after being robbed of its astral energy for so long, those days are gone and past. This is all that will remain. So the Great Spirit took everything. It stole energy not just from living beings, but the land, the sea, everything. And it bound the Helganquil in servitude, until their whole world was nothing but this. And by the looks of it, that's how it remains to this day. A world of death and emptiness. With nothing left here to consume, the Great Spirit turned its sights on Dana, looking for another host. You're saying if we don't stop it, this is what Dan is going to look like? We can be sure that even these few remaining remnants of Ren and life will not be spared in the end. If the oblivion and darkness both Xion and Naori saw comes to pass, nothing will survive. It looks like we can climb down from there. Let's take a look. We have officially made it. Man, that was like... That was, that was a so lot. So this is Rena. Seemed to have appeared throughout This is Dana. where everything began. Yet it's a dead world? I won't let Dana suffer the same fate. Ever. Alright, so could I just like hop back in the starship and leave? Berg Volcano. They could, oh shit, so I could. I could go back and get all the owls and stuff if I wanted. Um, what level are we? 45? Eh. Might as well push towards the end. Um, either way, we are going to wrap up here. We have finally made it to the planet. We're back to, to being able to explore and whatnot. It was like almost 10 episodes of just like super freaking heavy dialogue. So, Ooh. well, no, that's not true. I guess there was the, the forbidden zone and the that fight kind of helped to break it up but yeah a lot of dialogue either way we're pushing on we are we are coming up on clearly the end of the game y'all stay tuned we'll have more coming your way soon enough